Hi, this is Zach Horton. Welcome to the first Mercury Minute. Today we're going to look at the camera's modular system. At the core of the Mercury is the front module. And this, uh, for, to this, the entire lens system attaches on the front and the entire film uh, system on the back. A place to drop in a remote trigger for the shutter, whatever it may be. Um, and to the front of this, you can attach front spacers. And these are optional. This allows you, and they're stackable, so this essentially allows you to extend the front of the camera to any size that's necessary or desirable for your particular configuration. Um, very short lens stack might ha involve no spacer at all. Um, on the end of the spacer uh, stack, you have the focus unit, and this is what actually allows the camera to focus view camera lenses, which don't have built-in helicals. Uh, but do have built-in shutters. And uh, to, a, to adapt a, a lens or attach a lens to this focus unit, it's optional, but you would want to put on a, a focus scale. And so each the focus scale for any given lens just snaps right onto it like that. Um, and that's, that's, of course, calibrated to your particular lens. There's also a depth of field scale that can snap into the top. Uh, and then what screws right into that is the um, lens barrel, and that's sized to a particular lens. So, for instance, this one. Your lens uh, attaches to a little adapter, adapter plate, and then that screws into a lens barrel, which in turn screws into the, the focus unit. And that's a complete lens stack uh, once you attach that to the front of the camera. And all of that is held on by these four screws that go in here. On the back side of the camera, you have the back, uh, back adapter. The back adapter um, snaps right in, fits in place, and is held uh, by four small screws that get inset into it. So to remove this, you just remove those four screws and you can replace it. This is a medium format Graflock 2.3 uh, standard adapter for medium format backs. And the backs themselves, uh, which are made by Graflex, Mamiya, Horseman, and also Mercury uh, in development, to change a film back, this is medium format roll film, you just pop it on there and close this. Right, and so now you have a solid um, attachment for your back, and at any moment you can swap that out and replace it with something else. For instance, here's an Instax Mini back. Um, at the top of that, there's also uh, space for a range find, a viewfinder, or a sport finder like that. Um, if you're shooting handheld, you um, might want a range finder which attaches, oops, like that. And uh, these are standard cold shoes, so you can also attach flashes or any other accessory made for just about any camera. But if you want to shoot different formats, you can just take those four screws off and you can take off your back adapter and replace it with something else. For instance, a large format back, right? So that, again, attaches just the same way with the four screws. And this is a Graflock 4.5 large format back, and this accepts any um, standard uh, accessories or formats that you would shoot on large format. For instance, um, here's the Instax wide back adapted um, for the Mercury, right, that is, is a standard size. You can also shoot more exotic or strange uh, formats on, by swapping out the back adapter for, for instance, a Mamiya back, Hasselblad back, etc. Right? Many new back adapters can be created in the future. You can also use uh, back spacers, which lock right into uh, the back and extend backwards. So it does the same as a front spacer, but you have the option for advanced configurations of extending the camera sized uh, in the back or extending it in the front. Um, this modular system allows 
for almost an infinite number of possibilities in terms of what kind of lens system you adapt, what kind of format you shoot on. For instance, um, you can swap out the entire uh, Mercury focus unit for a system uh, lens unit here. So this takes a standard LX4 shutter and this is a, a Pentax 645 adapter, so any Pentax 645 lens can be adapted to this. It uses its own built-in helical for focusing, but then adds the shutter, which is missing, right? So this goes right on, um, just like the Mercury Focus unit, right on the front of the camera. We have Pentax 6x7, we have Mamiya, and of course many more can be adapted in the future. Also for special ultra-wide-angle uh, lenses, we have special uh, rotating helical focus mounts as well, um, or in, and also for very long lenses we have special adapters. So almost any lens system can theoretically be adapted to the front, and almost any film system, digital system, uh, instant film system can be adapted to the rear. Uh, of course, once you've assembled your camera, you don't have to disassemble it <laughs> into pieces. Uh, it just stays together as one camera, but you always have the option of reconfiguring it and also of swapping out individual parts that can be then upgraded or changed. Um, new parts can be created, of course, in the future. And because the camera is open source, uh, anyone can modify any of these modules to do anything they want. So it's a future-proof camera. And that's really what makes the Mercury a universal camera.